there, I'm Moa. Thanks for tuning into my channel. Today, I do feel a little bit nervous because I am going to start my first sewing project. Um, the first one since I had, I don't know what it's called in English, but Suslud in Swedish, so when you do crafts in school, basically. But I have decided that 2021 will be the year that I try to sew my own clothes. And I have a few challenges in mind. My fabric arrived yesterday and I'm going to start with using just this white poly cotton and hopefully making an apron dress. It is going to be modelled on my wonderful apron dress from Hearts and Found, which is a brilliant shop if you're looking for kind of hand sewn. This is made to my measurements, which is brilliant. And yeah, it's a bit of a Christmas gift to myself. So I have traced that with the tracing pat paper. So I have my pattern for it. Wish me luck. I have three meters of this, I think. I have another few meters coming because I'm not sure if this is gonna be enough, but I mean, if there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> so I hope that's gonna be good. And I'm going to take you on this journey because if you're a beginner just like me looking to start sewing it doesn't need to be difficult just find a project that inspires you and then you can work it out on the way. <laughs> I've done some research by looking at YouTube videos and I have kind of an idea in mind. I also already have an idea for this lovely blue gingham fabric that I am going to make a dress out of. I also have some ideas for this lovely colour and then I am going to make a hat with embroidery on it. So if you want to come along for the this little journey, then remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on it. But the first thing I'm going to do is put my patterns on this and hopefully get my pieces all cut out and sorted. I had to put on a jumper because it's just so, so cold in here. Here in Edinburgh we've actually had snow for the last few days and I can still see some outside but it's going away but it is freezing inside, hence my tea and my jumper. I just thought I'd show you the little patterns that I have so far. I will put all this in a blog post which is linked in the description below if you're curious to make something similar. So this is the sides, I'm going to need four of these. I have the front which I'm probably going to fold up just so I can get it exactly even, um, because this isn't. I um, tried my best, but no. So we're going to do that, and then the back we have two pieces like this. I am going to make them slightly bigger, just to have a good seam allowance, and also so I can kind of take it in a little bit as I go, because I'd rather it's too big and I can make it smaller, than being too small, and I have to try and make it bigger. Um, so yes. The skirt is basically just going to be a big rectangle of about, I think, 140 wide, which will then be gathered at the waist, and I think that will be good. It's going to be a midi length, so it's about 70 centimeters from my waist to where I want it to end. Wish me luck. I just discovered something really great. <laughs> it's that this fabric, which is three meters, it is actually the perfect length for what I want around the waist. And then I just need to cut it so that it's 70 centimeters plus um, the seam allowance. And I got those measurements by measuring the dress that I have, which is like a perfect way to have as a first project because I know what it looks like. I know I can take the measurements off the dress and then add the seam allowances and I'm hoping that will give me something similar and something that has a similar fit because I really like that one. So yes, I don't have to cut the length, which is brilliant. <laughs> less cutting, less risk for error. And yes, this is scissors from my kitchen. Don't judge me, I will buy fabric scissors. I am a beginner and the good thing is that everything 
I do now can be improved. <laughs> and I believe in learning by doing, so that's what I'll do. So there we have the skirt and uh, we're going to put that aside for now and then get the bodice. Okay, so now I'm done with cutting out the pieces and to my happy surprise there's kind of not a lot of fabric left but definitely enough if I mess up <laughs> to do new pieces. So I have my front which I also lay against uh, the double fold so that I can just open this up like a book. As you can probably see on these as well, I have drawn, drawn, drawn? the seam allowance on it but also added a little bit extra on the fabric just because I don't trust myself. <laughs> I mean this is the first thing I am sewing for myself so I just want to have a little bit of that margin of error, an actual seam allowance margin of error. This is the back, two pieces that uh, will go together and there will also be a zipper, 40 centimeter zipper I believe, going so this will be kind of a v-shape in the back and the zipper will go down into the skirt that's the idea anyways and then i have four folded fabric here yep four <laughs> just double checking every single step i'm like am i cutting something wrong am i cutting double am i so these will be the side pieces so they will make the little uh, holes for the arms on the side and then we also need which is why i'm happy i have fabric left a long strip that will go over and around so like a little frilly bit on the side so I need to figure out how long that needs to be I'm gonna do some measurements but I think maybe it's twice or three times the length of it um, and we'll see what that will be and then I need to figure out how my sewing machine works I have her here my singer starlet and I'm so excited. <laughs> I'll put her up here. At least I'm not very cold anymore. Yes. Next step will be I'm gonna figure out the frilly bits first so just to have all the different pieces together. And then zigzag around the edges so nothing goes up. And then try and kind of piece things together. I might start with the skirt and put and so with the machine so I can kind of gather it all together just to see that it works and the length is good and the kind of thing works all together and then maybe sew the hem and make the skirt look nice before I attach it to anything else and then we'll start on the bodice because I think that will be the one that needs the most fine tuning so yes I think that's what I will do so my thinking is that if I measure this outer side of the frill I should be able to have some sort of idea of how long it needs to be. So 135 it ended up just on 135 there. I 
I am now using this hand little tool because when I tried to sew the long stitches so I could ruffle my fabric it, they weren't long enough and it broke the thread so second time lucky hopefully um, I'm still having a lot of this to get the thread out of. Finally managed to work it out and basically what you do is just to sew a straight seam and then you get a hold of the bottom one and you just pull that out. I'm going to do it from both ends to create this nice little ruffle. There we go. And this will then be the waistline of the skirt, is my plan. Try and do it evenly just so I don't mess it up. There we go, and I've also zigzagged the edges so they won't free. So I have all the pieces. Should I just finish the skirt first because I need to sew in the edges and then sew it all together just so it looks nice. This is the thing, I'm trying to work, it's like doing a jigsaw puzzle inside my head. But all the little pieces need to fit together how they're all being sewn together in the nicest possible way. I'll probably do a double, no, for the hem, mm, I don't know. <laughs> I'll need to kind of pin it down and then see if I like it or change it if I don't. But yes, the skirt, the bodice, what was I going to say? Because this fabric's quite, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's a little bit see-through in certain lights. So I wonder if, because I have some white fabric coming next week, if I should double the skirt or not. I'll kind of sew it all together and probably do the bodice as well and then see how it looks if I need an extra fabric. And if I do, I'll just do it all again. <laughs> but yes. I'm going to keep working on the skirt and then I'm going to zigzag all the edges of the bodice parts. Fun! And probably do the seams on those as well. So this is what the pieces all just look pinned together. I've done nothing to kind of shape it up. But as you can see I need to shape it up here on the sides. But at least it looks like a top. <laughs> so yes, I need to sew it all together. I'm not sure if this is as see-through as I thought it would be, so maybe I just need a double skirt, but we'll see. But yeah, it's uh, it's bigger, which is good, because then I can just change it and make it smaller. But we still need to do all the edges, zigzag them so they don't free, and fold in all the little edges so it'll look all nice and neat. But I might do that tomorrow. So I'm just starting to pin these pieces together. This is the side piece and then I've made this little frill here in the middle and then we have the shoulder or what will be the shoulder. I have zigzagged all the edges but I realised I might have should have maybe folded them all over first and then sew them all together but I'll work it out. A little bit of rough edges is part of the first project isn't it? <laughs> And here's a little progress report. I need to fold in this little ugly edge inside and sew here, just so I can get away with that little ugly edge. And then sew together the sides, but I want to take it in so I can get a little bit nicer at the waist. And then of course I need to sew it together with the skirt. And I got my new tailor's doll, but I did run out of thread, as you can see. Don't think I'll get away with doing the other side with only that left, but I have some more coming soon. So, so far, going great. 
So just when I thought I had attached this body, I realized that the back of this, which is this piece here, is attached the wrong way around. So here we go with my trusty friend to do it all again. Wish me luck. So it's coming along. I have almost finished a bodice. I've made this extra little piece which you can see through here. I'm gonna sew it down and then I'm gonna cut the edge so it isn't see-through all the way down. And then I have to sew these sides together, both of them. And then I have a zipper, C. Here I have my lovely skirt. And then we have the zipper. So I just need to put everything together and should be able to finish it today. Yay! I made a dress. I know there's still pins here. I'm gonna take care of that, but I got too excited about putting the zipper in in the back. So I just wanted to try it on. Ignore my slippers. Yeah, I made a dress. So excited. Um, it's a little bit big in here. And of course, I also sewed the skirt on the wrong way around. But it's a little bit big in the waist anyway. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do a French seam. So I'll fold it over again, and then we'll sew it down. And that way I can adjust the size of the waist as well. But yes. Very happy. And here she is, my dress that I have finished. I have made a little embroidery. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. I have stitched everything down and I'm very happy with how it looks. <laughs> I now want to do one of these in every single colour that I have, especially one in black. So as soon as I get some black fabric, I will make that as well. The last bit was basically just sewing everything together. I put this to the wrong side, so I just folded it over to make something like a French seam. Sewed it back, so now it all looks good. I took in the waist a little bit uh, because that was slightly too big. And yeah, I took one of the embroidery patterns, I'll try and show you with some footage, um, and put this kind of leaf embroidery thing, which is also keeping down the fabric that I used to make the lining look nicer. So yeah. Quite easy. Um, yeah, there's a little things that are here wonky here and there, but that's kind of what you get to expect, I guess. Now I'm trying to decide what to do next. Have a lot of ideas. I also have these two. So I'm either gonna. I kind of want to start with the red, but I'm having a vote on Instagram at the moment. So feel free to join in, tell me what to do next. Let me know if you have any advice for beginners. Is there anything I shouldn't have done? I mean, I probably didn't need to zigzag all the edges of everything. I could have probably sewn pieces together and then zigzagged those edges together if needed. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to learn. I've, like I said at the start of this video, I've also done a blog piece on it. So if you're looking for how much I paid for this project, the fabric, what fabric I used, how long it took, then feel free to check out. It's in the description. And of course, if you like what I'm doing and would like to keep track of what future projects will be, then feel free to like and subscribe uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Hope you'll have a lovely day.